Hey guys, Tyler here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Rawcat Cone XP mouse in white specifically. So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is one of my favorite mouses that I've owned, and I've owned multiple. And the reason I say it's uh, one of my favorites because two main reasons. One, the lighting controls on this mouse are amazing. When I say amazing, not only is the base, uh, I guess, color palette that it hooks up as soon as you plug it in, as soon as the colors pop up, that alone is already enough to justify it. But it does come with software, or does it come with software, but you can look up the software, download the software, and then you can customize it to any of your liking. Those lighting settings on the Rawcat software for this mouse are unmatched. I love it. You can do presets, like if you want to do like an orange and pink, you can do an orange and pink. If you want to do, okay, I want to do all red, you can customize it where you can put, okay, I want red here, let's do green up here, and maybe some blue over here. You can customize it to your full potential. And another main reason why I like this mouse so much and why it's justified is the fact that all the buttons are programmable. That's the that middle mouse button, the actual scroll wheel, right click, left click, as well as the two buttons up here, so one and a two. And you also on the side have four of these buttons, so one, two, three, four. And even if you want one more, you have you can actually customize this little black piece at the top or side. So I feel like all those buttons being able to be custom or customized, um, or not customized, but reprogrammed, I think is enough to justify the cost. And that's just talking about the buttons and the colors. So I haven't even talked about the actual mouse yet. So cable wise, it's more, it's not a rubber cable. It's more of a cotton cable, which means it'll definitely get less um, tangled. It'll, it just, it has a lot more of a fluid feel to it instead of a rigged cable, which is going to stay very I guess all in one piece or all in one shape the mouse itself it has a very ergonomic design so you obviously you put your hand on it normal but that little side with your thumb rests I think it's a great button I know if you if you play for example shooters like me um, any kind of FPS first-person shooter games you will love being able to reprogram this button I use that for all my melees just for example because it is so easy if I want to do it all I have to do is I just push my thumb in and I think that that button alone I feel like is enough to justify all this so also the mouse itself is lightweight it is 104 grams or 3.67 ounces I think it was yes 3.67 so just real quick I plugged it into my PC just to kind of show you what the lighting can look like obviously you can see I have my preset set on blue I know it's kind of hard to see right now just because it's light out let me try and close the blinds and we'll actually get a better look at it all right blinds are closed you can barely see me that's okay but as you can see, this blue is very vibrant. I know it matches the PC quite well. So usually at the end of my reviews, I usually say if I do or I do not recommend the products. And this mouse I definitely am going to recommend um, just because I've used it in the past myself. Even though I'm not using it right now, I've used it in the past for gaming, for schoolwork. And that's been like, what, three, four months I've had it now. And I give it to my brother just because I don't use this one anymore. But I've, like I said, it has such a nice feel, such a nice shape to it that it's, you can't go wrong with it. And that's why I will recommend this mouse.